I am Rachel. Today I will show you how to perform earthwork calculations. Let's use this bond of soil as an example and see the entire process of measuring and calculating the earthwork values. First step, we start by collecting boundary line data of the earthwork. Using the map survey feature of I-89, we collect the coordinate of points around the outermost perimeter of the mound. Tap map survey, select line. Ensure that the antenna height matches the actual pole height. Then tap the settings icon, change measurements to one second, and tap return icon, and then begin measuring. After the measurement is completed, tap the close icon, tap OK, tap the icon, slide right, select the completion icon, enter the line name, and tap OK. For step 2, we continue to collect data of the upper surface of the amount. Tap point survey, modify the point name, and start measuring. During the measurement, it's essential to consider the actual terrain variations especially changes in slope. In areas with significant elevation changes, collect data more densely, and in areas with minimal elevation changes, fewer data can be collected to improve efficiency. Step 3. Begin the earthwork calculations. Tap Volumes, then New, and enter the name for this earthwork task. Tap Method, select Stock Pipe Pit. Tap Service, then new, and enter a name, upper service. Tap on points, choose from points manager. Tap OK, select all, OK. Next, we draw the boundary lines. Tap boundaries, then select the boundary line you just measured. Tap OK, then OK again. To ensure accurate earthwork calculations, you can reorganize, add, or delete elements in the team. If there are any unnecessary triangles, tap them, and then tap OK to delete. Finally, after ensuring everything is correct, tap OK, select the service file, tap Accept, and then tap Calculate to determine the volume of earthwork. This way, we can see the excavation and fill volumes, 2D service, area of the earthwork, and even the team diagram. Finally, tap Export Report, to export the Earthwork Quality Report, enter the report name, tap Export, and you will successfully export the report.